Hello folks. Well, you know, I'm pretty excited to show you this because when I first started putting videos on YouTube, helicopters were still hard to fly, with gyros just coming to age, including coaxials. The first one I actually did a video on was the Aerog's Helix and Reflex. I also did many videos on the Storm Launcher, which I really wish they'd bring back. I really like that. I have missile shooting helis and camera helis from Air Hogs, plus some rather expensive quadcopters in comparison, including the Blade 350 QX, the Walkera QR350, and of course the DJI Phantom. Well, many, many folks make quads and micro helicopters now, but when I saw Air Hogs was making one, <laughs> I had to get it and see what it was all about because I really liked their stuff. Well, the first thing I noticed was that the motors and blades look just like ducted fans and efficiently work like them to boot as you're going to see. Well, there are two modes for flying and it's easy and advanced and there's also a push button to perform stunts. However, it's not an ergonomic position for me and I find myself looking down to find that push button all with fake trim sticking up and uh, getting in the way. Well, the body is made out of EPP foam and it's what I would call as close as you can get to being indestructible. I'm not kidding you. It won't land on the propellers. They're, everything is fabulous about it. I'm very impressed. It's very difficult to see what the front is though. So I put some fluorescent painting on it to help me. Something that I don't like is the throttle stick detents. They're really stiff and clicky and you can hear it when you move the thing up. So I opened the transmitter and softened the metal tension spring as you're going to see and that worked really good. You know, heli pilots like zero detents. You can't have anything in the way. Also, you might note the transmitter has a reel to put the charge cord in with. It's a pretty nice touch. You know, I thought I'd try the new Duracell batteries also this time. However, I must say that they're very heavy compared to the Lithium Everettys, which I prefer, and only weigh 15 grams compared to 25 grams for the Duracells. So again, uh, they're, they're quite a bit heavier. We'll see how long they last. I also like the fact that the charge plug can go in either way, so there's no guesswork. The unit can either be charged with a USB or with a transmitter. <laughs> I got that off. Also note the transmitter has no trims and note the transmitter's controls are not proportional. Only the throttle is. Pretty cool. If you're looking inside the transmitter, this ratchet is just ridiculous. And what I am going to do is you can either take this tape or take these teeth off, grind those teeth off, or uh, flatten out the, uh, flatten this out.
That's tolerable. Now we're talking. Nice and smooth, it's perfect. So again, I do my reviews in the wind. If it can't fly in the wind, that doesn't mean anything to us folks out here in the Midwest. Well, I am impressed. I purchased this online from Amazon.com, but I know Target, Kmart, and many others carry it too. I really like it. I recommend it. Have fun. Can't break it. But I know actually a couple people that probably could. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely rolls. I'd say it's doing pretty good in this wind. <laughs> 